What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. We're here at the Safe Haven Ranch. I got little Macy the Llama here hanging out with me. Oh boy, she's a little dusty. Got Gracie, our future guardian dog, puppy. She's hanging out with me, watching over the farm. Goes Lamar in the background. Got the baby goats too. Nigerian dwarf goats. Goes Miss Piggy back there, having a great old time. Everybody's really happy. Dixie. Then we got Mona way back there. I have some exciting news to share with you. We are adding two more, actually three more to our herd. I don't know if that's what you call it. I'm just going to say family. So I got some baby cows and they're coming to be delivered in about a half an hour. Now, being that they're coming from a completely different farm, I didn't want them to have any interaction with these animals other than being able to see them so i want to show you my setup we're going to be doing like a quarantine at least for a couple of weeks so i have two corrals this is just for space so they're not like breathing on each other and there's like the little area the little house that i got for the llamas that they never use what in the tom brady goat are you doing in there <laughs> the reason why I kicked Louise out of there is because goats don't care. They will poop where the food is. That's how they end up getting parasites, things like that. It's just, it's not very sanitary. By the way, a lot of you think it's not cold in Florida. Check it out. We got ice in our water. That doesn't happen much. Had a little bit of an issue today. Now, I usually give these guys fresh water every single day. Now, thank God for, you know, this little reserve here that I have just in case. Yeah, we do not have water at our camper, and it's been like that for a couple days. When they were working on our house here, they hardwired our well into this T-pole, and it broke some breakers, and now now the well won't turn on. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to be until we have fresh water, which is bad because, I mean... Yeah, it stinks in my house, if you know what I mean. And Boston is kind of sick. Uh, we were all sick a little bit here and there. Yeah, he said his butt was leaking. <laughs> so yeah, we need some water. I mean, I got a little bit there. Been going back and forth with buckets to the house. Got my friend Roland coming by in a little bit. He's an electrician. He's going to check things out for me. So I got some more of these metal corrals. These are awesome, by the way, because... They make it where you can make some fencing for your animals and it's temporary, but you could make it permanent if you want. I mean, you know, it's, it's not permanent, but you know, you could keep it permanent. And then when you get tired of it, you can move it somewhere else. Now, being that I am getting a barn put back there and you know, roughly a couple of weeks, I'm gonna use these metal corrals for in there to separate some of the animals, just, you know, for feeding purposes and go to sleep. I mean, I got, quite a bit more i originally had like four of them and i got like an extra 12 and i also got these doors i didn't have the doors before so that's kind of nice in here it's just to kind of give you an idea i have like a barrier the only thing is i do not have a barrier where the door is i mean just to kind of separate them a little bit in case they have any diseases or anything like that i do got some vaccines that i'm going to give them and some deworming and i have an area here for another baby goat that i got another nigerian dwarf goat except it's a billy goat that's right he's a boy so he'll be he'll be the ladies man you know and maybe in the future give us some kids i don't know we'll see but for the most part you know i thought it was that was cool i do want to build up my goat herd a little bit and get a, a few more might get some tennessee fain goats i love those goats by the way aka myotonic goats and they're really good against parasites and things like that but yeah we'll give that some time i think we're probably going to be okay with animals i mean we have i mean now i think over 10 animals back here but i mean it's like a huge area for them but i, I don't want to get any more for a while i'm just going to kind of build on what we have i mean in the future too i mean she's it's a girl llama and i got the two girl llamas so i mean you know they might breed i'm just gonna let it be au natural and whatever they do have we might keep it here we'll, we'll see we'll see how they get along but for the most part i think we're good wait till you see the baby cows that we got we got a brahma mix and a zebu which is a small breed of cow that comes from india originated in india they could they could be a little aggressive sometimes, but I mean, we're getting them as babies. She is very, very little and she's really sweet. I met her yesterday. So we're gonna give them a lot of love. And I think this small area is gonna be perfect for them just to kind of interact with them and have them kind of interact with the other animals as well. I'm excited. They'll be here in about 25 minutes. They got this little shelter here. I got a hay feeder for them. I wanted to originally move this thing, but it is heavy. 
real heavy. I don't think this is ever gonna be moved, to be honest. So I don't know, if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them. I could probably move it with my truck. Another reason why I got these baby cows as well is because Mona, she's a Jersey cow, a Jersey dairy cow, and she will not let me milk her. She won't let me come close to her. Eventually, once I build a little stand, a milking stand for her, maybe I could do something like that. But I felt that once we're done with the quarantine period, I can have these calves nurse on her and help her, you know, relieve herself of, you know, the milk that's building up. And of course, to give Mona some bonding cows that she can bond with over time and just graze the field with. I think they'll be happy. Cows are very happy when they're with other cows. It seems like the animals just like to hang out. They got this huge, like two acres or so to play in and they just, just kind of like hanging out right here. Here comes Tiffany with all the water buckets that we had to use. So we got this like peanut butter stuff, peanut butter flavor. What's like actually in this? Mm -hmm. Curry fat. Know. Okay, it's like stuff that they put in feed. You want to try it? No, I'm good. You want to try it? Yeah. Tastes just like peanut butter. And why'd you spit it out? Just, well, mm, tastes like peanut butter and milk. Gracie. Gracie, look at that. You're you're all, like I know you're chewing on that bone. Gracie. He's got here. Oh. Oh, she likey. <laughs> you want that? You want that instead? I think Macy wants some too. Hi, She's baby. like, can I have some peanut butter? She's a good girl. These guys are so spoiled. <laughs> they really are. You're so cute. Oh, you see yourself? Yeah? Is that you? So being that I got some extra panels and a door. So we didn't have these doors, like I said. It worked out good because I was able to make the goat enclosure for Thelma and Louise a little bit bigger. I mean, it's like almost double the size now. So yeah, this is nice. It's just for now, while they're babies in the future, when we get the barn back there, I'm gonna have like a little, like a play area for the goats. I wanna build like a castle for them. Like, you know those, you ever seen them on Pinterest? They're like bridges. They just, they love that. Miss Piggy, what you doing? I'm trying to catch Miss Piggy. She don't trust me very much. You know, pigs don't really like being held a whole lot, but you can sometimes bribe them with food. <laughs> so I got this little treat because we got to get some spray on her edge. There she goes. Let me try to get closer to her. <laughs> what? what are you doing? Lord. <laughs> and then there goes Piggy. Me. Maybe it's not a good idea. No. <laughs> I can't catch her. Oh, anybody got a net? Miss Piggy! trying to help you we have to spray her some other time but yeah it's like a conditioning it's almost like a lotion specially formulated to replenish natural oils for optimal hide health especially this time of year pigs get very very dry always trying to scratch herself and we don't want her it has been a couple times where she has scratches on her from rubbing up on pieces of wood a lot i think that's our babies over there i think they're coming it's just the goat I separated okay. them because I didn't Hey, know. buddy. That's Tom Brady right there. <laughs> yes, sir. He already has a name. All right, where are these guys at? Oh, my goodness. Oh, how you guys doing? You ready to see your forever home? Are you going to put them all Yeah. Aw. Uh, well, oh. oh, he jumps. That's so funny. Hey, buddy. Yeah, did you hear that? Look. Oh, his heart's beating so fast. Oh, let's put him in here and get, to, get him some hay. Okay. That's that's Tom's little enclosure just for now. And he's probably going to find a way. I, you know what? There is a little opening right there that he could get through. Got to take that ugly ear tag off you. All right, ladies. Come on. Got some food for you. Oh, they're so cute. Lily and Rena. They're hungry. <laughs> Is that good? Is that good? They're so cute. Thank you guys. Got the Terminator coming <laughs> to terminate our water problem that we have. Hey, you said you'll be back and you came back. I'm back. <laughs> All right, so I think we yeah. found the issue with what was tripping our breaker. There was a bunch of like spider webs over here and we just cleaned it all off. We'll see. We'll also do a go to the breaker and see what's going on there. Whoa, check out my new car, y'all. Psych is rolling. Yeah. <laughs> see, I have the breaker off, but when we would turn it on, it would pop. So let me see. If it doesn't pop, we're golden. Oh, see, 
it popped. All right, yeah, I hear it. And that's pretty quick buildup, too. That sounds more like a short. So Roland's thinking that this wire here probably has a short somewhere down the line, which makes sense because we do drive on this line a lot. But I don't know, so far, so good. Seems okay. Doesn't look bad to me. I know we did have a truck out here the other day because we're going to be putting a steel building. But when it comes to electrical stuff, I'll leave it to my boy Roland. Gonna, I'm just going to leave this right here just to mark where this is. Okay. We'll go back to the breaker box. I'm going to, I moved the wire a little bit. See, see what if, happens. See what happens there. I'm just going to still kind of just do this along the line. Yeah, I think you got a tick on your leg. A tick? What? Yeah. No, oh, it's a fly. <laughs> Mick Floyd! Yeah. Tore up here too, look at this. Oh no, that's even worse. Yeah. That's probably it right there. All it takes is this to hit the ground, because mm -hmm. what happens is your power, your utilities are, you know, they go to ground. You have, mm -hmm. you have your neutral, you have your hots and your ground, right? So if anything touches any kind of moisture in the ground, if it's exposed, it's gonna short out the breaker. Now this one's oh, burnt. That. That's burnt right That's there. That's it right there. That's, yeah, there's definitely a short there. You got a definite short. So this is this is most likely where the problem is at, right here. Okay. Yeah. You have exposed wires right there. Oh, look, it's all burned up. Yeah. So that's what happened right there. It's. I don't think it has anything to do with these other ones. Well, those other ones are gonna end up being like this if they don't get addressed. They gotta get sealed up. Luckily, it didn't catch a fire in the grass. Okay, that would have been bad because this grass is pretty dry. So, should we just like cut that and then put it back together? Yeah, it's gonna have to be spliced. Oh, it's on. Oh, look, it's fine now. Yeah, because it was popping. Yeah, that's because that wire was shorting it out. We got to get it terminated. <laughs> hey, look, Ma, it's a spoiler. Wanna see the spoiler? Here, catch. No! <laughs> Uh, just kidding. Look at that. Oh, dang. I think it's got babies. Here, put your finger in there. No, Boston. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta find you a new home, buddy. Okay, I just got this little itsy bitsy spider out. I have no idea what kind of spider that is. I've never seen a spider like that. It's like black and it's got white on it. Yeah, wait, you touching them? They hop though. These kinds hop around. Really? Yeah. It's got like green fangs. Yeah, they're very, very jittery. <laughs> Let's see what happened over here. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Tiffany was backing up the trailer, and um, I forgot there was a trailer on it because you're telling me not to ride over a wire. Yeah, it's just. Oh look, it's another spider. Oh look, it's a broken truck. I think you could just, you could just buff that out. This is my calf, Rena, and she's she's warming up a little bit. Just trying to let her know that she's okay. You're a pretty girl. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Lily is not as friendly, but we're working on it. Are you like blocking her because you think I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal her from you? <laughs> but she's, she's little, but she's actually probably still a good 200 pounds. She's gonna be a big, big cow. Come here, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I wish I had some feed for her. But hey, it's okay. Come here. Hey, it's okay. Careful. <laughs> you taking selfies with the llama? Uh -huh. Roland's taking selfies with baby llama. <laughs> she giving you kisses? Hey, reminds me of my uh, last girlfriend. <laughs> they call these livestock guardian dogs. <laughs> She's so cute. That's what they do though. They sleep a lot during the day and they like come out at nighttime, not nocturnal. They watch over your flock. Hey, we got water. Thanks to my bro, Roland. <laughs> If you love animals, you'll go subscribe to my boy, Roland. I'm going to leave a link down below to his channel. We all need water, especially the animals. Yeah. Man, I don't care about us. We got some bottled water, but these guys, they need fresh water. Yeah. Thanks to Roland for hooking that up for us. I think Mona spotted the babies. She keeps glancing over there. I mean, I have, a, have them separated. I want her to be okay with them. Yeah. It's going to be her new best friends and her surrogate daughters. Uh-oh, here comes mama. She sees y'all. So this is Mr. Tom Brady, and we got him a little igloo doghouse. It's actually quite big, because I didn't want him just being out here in the open. I can't believe that we spent the entire day and night yesterday here on the Safe Haven Ranch. Not that this is a problem. Cows are good. They're chilling. They're warming up, warming up to us. 
We need some more hay, by the way. We need hay every day. We need to get those like big, like round bales. I got this little obstacle course. And it's just to kind of keep the cows away from, you know, the big cow for now. I'm not trying to rhyme so much. Hey, by the way, hey, everyday cow for now. But he likes it. He likes coming over here. What are you doing, bud? Let me know if you're digging the whole farm Safe Haven Ranch videos. That's going to probably be my life for a while. I mean, I'll still be traveling occasionally here and there. But, I mean, these guys need us here. No, that's dog food. No. Are you talking to the cows? Yeah. Or sorry, heifers. All right, so I got Tommy Boy here and he's about to meet his lady friends. He made it through last couple nights through a quarantine. They just wanted to make sure he didn't have diarrhea. Definitely doesn't have diarrhea. It's been dewormed, been vaccinated. Now we're gonna... Those guys ain't ready yet. Yeah, we're gonna wait a little while for them. Maybe, I don't know, another week mm -hmm. or so. But they're doing really good. I can feel his like umbilical cord. Aww. Let me see. You know what? Can you see it? Like right here? What is that? Yeah, it's something. Huh. You want me to see if he wants some milk? Oh, Tommy? Yeah. Hey, look. Baby llama wants to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> look how cute. Taste it. Are you numb? <laughs> look, you want some? The other girls didn't want any either. Yeah, we've been putting it in their food in the mornings to kind of give them some nutrients and stuff because... They're little babies. I think they're pretty much weaned but they were still i remember seeing him and his mom i was like a secondary bid like i think the f guy before me got all the nannies which was like his sister and then somebody got the moms and he was the only one left so sad and i was like nobody wanted the little bucky guy we got the buck that's what we call him right well billy the billy buck he's gonna be our only buck tommy dak tommy dak <laughs> Macy. Did you just get bit by Macy? You just bit my booty. <laughs> Am I not giving you attention? Do you want some? Your booty is bootylicious. <laughs> Come here. A little bit earlier today, I got like Miss Piggy because she was eating the dog food, you know? Piggy, no, that's dog food. No. So I grabbed her and I put that conditioner on her. It was so funny. <laughs> she was just screaming like I was killing her. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to help you. We don't want Miss Piggy getting bigger. But if you have a piggy, never feed a dog food because that's what contributes to them getting very large. There's a lot of protein in it. Right, like she should only be just a little bit bigger. <laughs> Gracie's, let's see what she does. Come here, Gracie. <laughs> no, oh, Gracie, come. head butter. Yeah, come here, Gracie. She wants to play. I know, she's not, they need to get used to each other first. <clears throat> so there's Mona. Look, babe. What, oh, Mona? She's talking to the babies. Oh, cool. Look at these guys. Oh my god, this is so funny. Yo, Miss Piggy can hold her own. <laughs> Do you think they'll always play? I don't know, Piggy's gonna get big at one point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so is Gracie. Grace could be like a 150 pound dog. Oh, oh my god, you're <laughs> so Look, one dead, man. Oh my god. One no, no, he's not dead, he's just, he's chilling. Oh my gosh, hi. hi. Oh, oh my god, oh. I knew. <laughs> This is my dad's oh puppy. Oh my gosh, look at that little face. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. He's kiss. adorable. Kiss. He's oh, so little. Oh, <laughs> He's adorable. I love pugs. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Big dog versus little dog. <laughs> They're both babies. You gotta be careful. You can't play with her like Miss Piggy. Knock her out. Okay, so I got these very same shoes from Walmart. They're cheap, but they're comfy. 13 bucks. And I have to say that I just remember what those look like right there. So, I mean, this is farm life. And it's just, just me being hard on my shoes before and after. I mean, there's like cow poopy on there. Like, yeah, but you wear these shoes on a regular basis too before, I do. before the farm. These shoes got some good use. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like buying another pair because they were so comfy. You should. Just thinking about switching my style up a little bit. What do y'all think? I have to say though, Walmart has stepped up their game with like shoes and clothes and stuff. Like, I like those. And I mean, you can't beat these for 13 bucks. Uh-uh. All right, y'all. I got me some clogs. See, it says clogged. Okay, when you live in a rural area and go to a rural Walmart, this is what's in our parking lots. 
Look, we got horses. I think it's like a clinic. They're giving them shots or something. Aww. Okay, so why is it we might break up today? Because we are definitely divided today. <laughs> Super divided. But I say that there's two against one right now. That means yeah. nothing. Yeah. So we about to go to the playoff game. broke into the baby cow area and they're just chilling okay so i'm a little sad that did not end the way that i wanted it to end but it's it's okay at least tiffany was happy she was really happy by the way her team won and i'm glad that one of us got to leave happy hope you enjoyed the vlog today make sure to smash that like button i'll see you on the next one gotta go for now before we leave give me a kiss